U.S. will not shoot down drones in Ukraine as it did in Israel. The United States will not intervene in Russia's war in Ukraine and will not shoot down aerial targets as it did in Israel. White House National Security Council Strategic Communications Coordinator John Kirby said this. Asked whether the U.S. is prepared to shoot down Iranian kamikaze drones as it did in Israel during the Iranian attack, he said he knew the question would come up. Look, different conflicts, different airspace, different threat patterns, Kirby said. He also stressed that from the very beginning of the conflict, President Joe Biden made it clear that the U.S. had no plans to take part in hostilities in Ukraine. Kirby said that the U.S. provides Ukraine with the weapons it needs to protect its airspace. Unfortunately, we can't do that right now because we don't have the national security supplemental funding that Ukrainians so desperately need. He also said that the best solution would be to put the aid in the hands of the Israel Defense Forces and the Ukrainian military and pass the bill that the Senate has adopted. The United States has destroyed dozens of drones and at least six ballistic missiles aimed at Israel from Iran and Yemen. Its military has said U.S. forces hit more than 80 one-way attack drones, including seven UAVs targeted on the ground prior to launch, U.S. Central Command said. Iran's continued unprecedented malign and reckless behavior endangers regional stability and the safety of U.S. and coalition forces, Central Command said. Central Command remains postured to support Israel's defense against these dangerous actions by Iran. We will continue to work with all our regional partners to increase regional security. Central Command made the announcement after Iran, late on Saturday, launched its first ever attack on Israeli territory in retaliation for a suspected Israeli attack on its embassy in Syria. The attack, involving more than 300 drones and missiles, caused only modest damage as most were shot down by Israel's Iron Dome missile defense system or the U.S. and its partners. A huge fire has broken out at Copenhagen's 17th century former stock exchange, one of the Danish capital's most famous landmarks, engulfing the historic building's roof and toppling its distinctive spire, we are witnessing a terrible spectacle. The Bourse is on fire, the Chamber of Commerce, which occupies the building next to Christian's Board Palace, the seat of the Danish parliament, wrote on X, everyone is asked to stay away. Culture Minister Jacob Engelschmidt said 400 years of Danish cultural heritage had gone up in flames. The fire is very violent, and it is on every floor, Jacob Vedsted Andersen, the fire service's director of emergency management, told Denmark's public broadcaster doctor you just can't take it in. It's really raging. The flames are like 20 m high, he added. The Proviantha swing at Christiansborg, the nearby seat of Denmark's parliament, has been completely evacuated due to fears that it could be affected by flames and smoke. All meetings and hearings at the parliament have been cancelled with employees being told to stay at home. Copenhagen's fire services said that the building's copper roof was making fighting the fire especially challenging. The building, dating back to 1625, is a stone's throw from Denmark's parliament, the Folketing, and the royal palace, Christiansborg. Danish media said the nearby square was being evacuated, the old stock exchange was being renovated and had been shrouded in scaffolding and protective plastic covering. It currently houses the Danish Chamber of Commerce, which described the scenes on Tuesday morning as a terrible sight, local craftsman Henrik Grage told Danish TV that it was a tragic day. This is our Notre Dame, he said, comparing it with the fire that engulfed the roof and spire of the cathedral in the center of Paris in 2019. Passing residents joined emergency services. Thank you.